Hello. Well, uh, here I am again. I'm back today. Um, and I kind of wanted to sort of continue off where I was last week. Talking about, you know, essentially Christopher Nolan has a new film coming out next year and really nothing new. I kind of talked about some speculations about what could be uh, his film. Or what people would want. And I kind of wanted to uh, address them here, or present them here, and maybe give my little, my own thoughts about these suggestions here and there. Um, the first one, the main one, I've often heard about now is um, a new adep adep pff, adaptation. Uh, it's a hard word. Uh, a new adaptation of the uh, manga series Akira, which had its own film in the 1980s. Now, people say that because um, there's been a live-action uh, version wanting to be produced since the beginning of this century, I believe. It could have been in the 90s, but... I believe around 2000, 2001 is what really when it started to, you know, pick up steam. And many people have been attached to it to either direct or produce, maybe both. And uh, George Miller, who, you know, directed the Mad Max films and also won an Academy Award for um, Happy Feet, he's been. Uh, involved at some point in the development process, as has Christopher Nolan. But, you know, Christopher Nolan essentially wanted to do other films, you know, certain films that are personal to him, like Dunkirk, uh, before doing such a thing, perhaps. Now, obviously, this has all been rumored, and he's just been uh, connected of being a part of it at some point. That does not necessarily mean he will make an Akira live action film, but that also mean doesn't mean he won't. Um, they did say that it is an event film, so I'm sure for many that would be an event film. You know, Christopher Nolan, Akira. <sighs> you know, I haven't seen the film, but I have seen some clips of the film. I have. Uh, Looked about the brief information without spoiling anything major for myself, and that's it's it's a really it, it's it seems interesting, you know. I think it'd be a film that if I watched, I would enjoy. Um, so, you know, if he if Nolan is making an Akira remake, another adaptation, whatever you'd want to call it. You know, I would um, definitely watch the original first, and um, yeah, it's 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 that's something that's been floating around for a while. Now, that aside, there's been some genres people would like to see Christopher Nolan tackle. One is um, well, the western. You know, the western has been sort of revived. You know, there's like. Hostiles, which was a very good film, I thought. It's very good, um, very entertaining, and also very interesting in which you see uh, a side uh, uh, where with the white man and the Native American, you don't see a whole lot. Like the reason why this, like Christian Bale's character hates the Native Americans as opposed to they just don't like each other, you know. Sometimes it can be just like that. They say, oh, they're savages. But then you hear about this, and then you see it, and then you see also the uh, the other way also, of how they treat people. You basically, you see both sides treating the others in a way that's not really good. So... That's just a very recent example, but, you know, some would like to see 
Christopher Nolan do a Western? A Western would be quite interesting. It would be very interesting, and it could possibly even work, uh, particularly with his style. You know, he could perhaps infuse his style into a Western film. That would be cool to see. Another has been a horror film. Many want to see a horror film by Christopher Nolan. They think because of how good he is at, you know, creating you know, tension, particularly with Dunkirk, that would be incredible if he could do so or do a film that's horror. Inception was also initially uh, envisioned by him to be a horror film, but, you know, over the course of like 10 years and him working the film out, it became what it is now. So, uh, I don't know if uh, the whole dream thing was there initially of stealing th secrets, but done in a horror-themed way. Um, though I think if that continued with the horror theme and dreams, you know, people may uh, compare uh, it to a Nightmare on Elm Street, it being a horror film and having dreams. At least initially, you know, I'm sure it would not have been like that at all. But I'm sure initially, you know, given a brief synopsis and then the genre of the film that could come to the conclusion to many is like, oh, is it like a Nightmare on Elm Street or something? What? But yeah. Um, Those are really the three main things that I've often heard as of late. Now, I would like to also throw into the, out there uh, a comedy. Imagine a Christopher Nolan comedy, a film he's written, uh, perhaps by with by himself and also even with his brother, Jonathan Nolan, and he directs a comedy. And you know that that would really probably be out of his comfort zone in a way. You know, he's known for making these films that are that have drama and action and non-linear style and you know I'm sure you could make a comedy that's non-linear you know I think I don't think that would be a huge problem not saying he would um, but I think seeing a full-blown comedy by uh, Christopher Nolan would be really cool to see It'd be very interesting and different um, and perhaps you know it might not if it doesn't do well maybe you know people might think I'll just stick to like dramas or serious films um, but you know you'd have to applaud no one for a, a branching out trying something new um, I remember uh, watching the extras on the Dark Knight Trilogy box set that uh, Christopher Nolan said when he had his conversation with Richard Donner. Well, they were talking about, well, what are you going to make next? I don't know. Um, and Richard Donner says, well, make a comedy. And, and Nolan said, oh, <laughs> he's kind of like laughing like he doesn't think he would be able to make a comedy. But then he goes, well, they're all comedies. Like, you know, the Dark Knight Trilogy, they're all comedies, all three. They're all black comedies. And there is humor in there. There is humor, particularly whenever Bruce Wayne is with uh, Lucius Fox and or Alfred. You know, there's comedic banter and little quips done here and there. And um, uh, there's light moments in these films that are very dark and serious. And um, I think that gives... Uh, that helps give those films quite the longevity, honestly. Um, you know, helps people when you watch them. It's not all somber. It's not so dark, you know, because there are moments of little moments of comedy. You know, nothing to really bust a gut over, but you know, moments that you can chuckle at at the very least. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it would be interesting to see that. Uh, it'd be interesting to see him branch out in comedy. Um, 
And of course, people say science fiction. You know, he's very comfortable, like with Interstellar and Inception and that kind of thing. Um, and it would be very cool to see an, uh, another science fiction film by Christopher Nolan. Um, I, I would love to see. Uh, what he does next, regardless of the genre, or if it's a, another adaptation of a film or a source material or anything of the sort. Um, you know, that Howard Hughes film that he wrote initially back in the like, 2000s or so, but uh, put on the shelf for because of Martin Scorsese's The Aviator. Um, I don't think he's ever said that he that's officially never going to happen. I think you know he would like for it to happen, but you know because at the time of Scorsese's film, he wisely did not make it that, that time. I think enough time has passed. It's been over a decade since The Aviator, and I think another another film about Howard Hughes would be welcome, you know. He's a very interesting guy. Um, but what do you think? What do you think uh, about Christopher Nolan's new film? What could his new film be? What genre? Could it be uh, a, the Howard Hughes film? Could it be Akira? Would, could you see him do any other genre we haven't seen him done? He said he will never direct another comic book film again you know he's done with he made the Dark Knight trilogy you know uh, great films um, so wants to do other things so what would you want to see him do um, would you like to see him do another war film what kind of war film would you like to see I know many said uh, do Battle of Britain but you know maybe that would be a bit too obvious you know after Dunkirk then the Battle of Britain though it would probably fit um, but you know I'm yeah what do you guys think are any of these good suggestions are any of these bad suggestions um, if you want let me know in the comments uh, if you like um, but anyway um, yeah that's all I have for you today I hope you all have a good day. I hope you all have a good weekend and a good week. Have fun, take care, and I will see you next time.